Yeah, I couldn't vote it. With you know what I think long. is cool now is that going to the movie theater is again mm -hmm. a big deal. It is. Like it's a thing. That's a that's a big date night that's thing to do now. That's what we saw Maverick. Because and if you go fantastic. to the theater now, it's, you know, we've seen movies at home. Now it's like, oh, we have movies at I home all the time. I had a film studies class in high school where we had to pick a year, not the current year, obviously. And then we had to watch them all and then write about them. Uh -huh. And I think that was like... Uh, I, I picked a year where it was um, Singing in the Rain. <gasps> and, and great one. one of the That's nominated a great ones. Era. It was fantastic. My mom watched every single movie with me. <laughs> so, with all the movies that were in the Oscars that Correct. year. Correct, okay. that year. That's so a pretty clever a pretty way neat. to do it. Yeah, isn't it? It is. Well, history. we're not going to be singing in the rain. We're singing in sunshine today. Let's do it. Across Northeast Ohio. <laughs> so, if you like the sunshine, um, it's not going to be here forever, so enjoy the moments we have it. We get a little extra cloud cover come tomorrow, but you may have noticed a bigger change across the area today, and that was because our temperatures have shifted. We are about 5 to 25 degrees colder from our Lakeshore counties, not as noticeable, but farther inland. Yesterday, you were pushing almost 60 degrees and close to 70 at that to the southern part of the state. Now we are in the 30s. It feels even cooler. We have a north performing wind right now. Elyria, you're feeling like 29 degrees, 26 in Youngstown. It feels like 37 in Dover and 27 in Ashtabula. Across the area, really a whole lot of nothing. We We've had a beautiful, beautiful amounts of sunshine today. We'll start to increase the cloud cover come tomorrow. But tonight, if you're headed out, maybe it's an evening drive through for you. Sunny skies continue for the next couple of hours until the sun sets. Then we're mainly clear, but temperatures falling back closer to freezing by about 7, 8 o'clock tonight. Come tomorrow in your national Zimmer on the hour forecast. We start the day closer to freezing and we only do the 30s once again tomorrow. We are just going to be right around 40 degrees, so slightly below where we should be for this time of the year. But if you were questioning when are we going to get a little tricky again when it comes to an overall system, we have to wait until we meet up with Friday. We see maybe the chance for some snow, maybe a little mix rain, depending on where the actual center of the low actually tracks. It's a very important part of the situation that is continuing to fold on out. Then some lingering snow continues for Saturday, and then we have to wait for the middle of next week as well. It gets a little interesting with the passing system and then some troughs continuing to dig, which will continue our lake effect. Good old machine. Our Union Home Mortgage Extended Forecast highlights all of what I just said. We're close to 40 for at least the next couple of days, but clouds definitely increase on Thursday. Thursday. That's the precursor to bigger change to come, which happens on Friday with our next system. We drop it and we are as cold as we can be on Saturday at 34 degrees, which is definitely winter feeling after the mild winter we've had in its entirety, Betsy. That is a fact. The other thing is we spring forward this weekend. We do. And we've had that little icon on this graphic for the past three days, and it just clicked into my head that that is this weekend. This weekend. This weekend it happens. It sure spring is. Spring forward. All right. Thanks so much, Peyton.